We must be getting close to Steiner. He will be where all cowards reside. As far away from the battlefield as possible. After this mission, do you think we will go home? I hope so, Dimitri. I hope so. Verstanden! Verstanden! Du der! Get there! Get there! Get there! Get Do not point that weapon at me, Russian dog! You will take me to Dragovich. 
As I looked into the German's eyes, I saw all the evil of the fascist Reich still burning strong. At that moment, every fiber of my being yearned to put an end to his wretched life. But I was a soldier then. I still believed in orders. Brezhnev, bring your men! What is here that is so important? General Dragovich wishes to make a name for himself. He believes this outpost houses something of great value to the motherland. Dragovich and Steiner are talking like old friends. I do not like this, Reznov. No, I do not Be on your guard. We must hurry! There are Germans who would sooner see it destroyed than captured. You assured me there would be no problems. I cannot control the actions of the SS, General Dagovich. They are sworn to defend the Reich till their last breath. Noble, but futile. Gravchenko, finish up here. Brezhnev, you and your men will lead the way. Yes, sir! Petrenko, Vikarev, Nevsky, Volov! We are moving out! Steiner, tell me more about your association with the Gift Eager Stern Project. In 43, the Fuhrer realized the Allies could not be held back for much longer. We began to look for more unconventional solutions. Throughout the war, my own research was focused on chemical weapons. It was meticulous and frustrating work. However, what we finally developed was a weapon more effective than we had ever dared to imagine. Weapon now housed within this vessel. Nova Six. the Nervo 6 chemical may be, you still had to find a way to unleash it. Long-range V-2 rockets to be launched from this outpost. The targets were command and control centers. Washington, D.C. was our first target. Then Moscow. Hmm. Ambitious and commendable, Stein. But we were too late. The British were upon us and their bombers crippled the ship. Locked in the ice, we tried to salvage what we could, but it was too late. Germany had surrendered, and a Russian flag flew over Berlin. The SS had orders to destroy the ship if we were attacked. Clearly, they failed. The explosives were never activated. This is it. Reznov, open the door. We had found what we were looking for. Nova 6. The German weapon of mass disruption now belonged to Mother Russia. Or so it seemed. Our victory was to be short-lived. Dragovich wanted to see the effects of the poison firsthand. It was also an opportunity to remove a thorn in his side. I had long known of their distrust. What kind of men they were. It was a betrayal. I should have foreseen. Dmitri Pentrenko was a hero. He deserved the hero's death. 
Instead of giving his life for the glory of the motherland, he died for nothing. Like an animal. He should have died in Berlin. As I watched my closest friend die, it became clear we were not the only ones seeking the German weapons. The Western Allies circled like vultures. Of course, Dragovich, Kroshenko and Steiner scattered like rats, leaving me to contend with the British. British commandos assaulting our positions! I will have the explosives! We will plunge this vessel into the depths of hell. We cannot let either side possess this terrible weapon. falling into the hands of the British. But I was a fool to think that the threat was over. It was only after I was captured and sent to Vokudar 
that I learned of Dragovich's true intentions. He will die before he gives up on Nova Six. Mason, listen to me. We are running out of time, my friend. Can you trust your leaders to destroy it? Or do you think they will use it? The flag may be different, but the methods are the same. They will use you as they used me. You must decide. Decide what you think is worth fighting for. Dragovich, Kravchenko, Stein. These men must die. Hudson's mission at Kowloon was accomplished. He had discovered Dragovich's endgame, Nova 6. The nerve toxin so deadly that if exposed, you'd be dead before you hit the floor. Dragovich's weapon. Go back to Vietnam, Mason. Was Victor Reznov still with you after you escaped from the MACD compound? <sighs> Reznov was with me the whole time. Are you sure? North. We went north. Viet Cong. We were shut down, and Reznov even survived that. Dragovich's laptop Krepchenko was there. He knew we were coming. This is Hotel 9-1! We are going down in Sector Bravo! Tango 7-9er! Mayday! Mayday! Frank, you okay? Shit! My leg! And the leg. I'm bleeding! I need some help here! <sighs> He's yeah. dead. They're coming! Who's that? Kill those bastards! We gotta get out of here! This thing's my. We're going under, Mason!
Sergeant Woods is very capable. You have chosen your men well, Mason. I will move to high ground to look for Krushenko's compound. Understood. Stay close, Victor. Lima, Niner, X-Ray. This is Whiskey. You out there? Yeah, Whiskey, go. Woods. Thought we lost you in that chopper. What's the new plan? You clear the southeast perimeter and meet us at the rally point. Roger. Whiskey on the way. Over. Glad you're still in the game, Woods. The rally point is just ahead. Bowman should be waiting for us. No noise, knife only. Never gets old. Mason, fill us in. Somewhere near this village is a military outpost under the command of General Kravchenko. Been losing our FAC to AAA. Probably a ZPU. We'll disarm it, then we'll bring in the Hornets. Whiskey team, you cover the bridge in the East River. Mason, with me, on the west perimeter. Rendezvous point. The village. In five minutes. You got it? Whiskey team. On me. Later, boys. <laughs> <laughs> 